Hey Buns, we are one week away from InWalker Early Access and there is a lot of stuff that you can actually do right now to make sure everything goes smoothly. So I'm gonna be covering lots of different ways that you can prepare for ultra fast leveling of the new jobs Reaper and Sage. I myself do plan to go through the InWalker main story as a Reaper and so that means I need to level up fast, very, very quick. I'm also gonna give some general prep tips for InWalker if you're not, even if you're not gonna level up the new jobs right away. So um, basically we, we got something for everybody in this video. <laughs> this is a video I'm partially making just for myself, my own personal use, because there's a ton of stuff that I've listed here that I will be doing myself. And uh, I wanna share that with you. Just make sure we all have our little moogles in a row for the new expansion. So first up, some leveling tips for Reaper and Sage. Right now you can go to Ralgar's Reach and you can spend Poetic Tomestone on augmented scathing gear that's maiming for Reaper or healing for Sage. You can get this in Ralgar's Reach here at this NBC. And uh, though, don't buy the belt. Do not buy the belts because belts are going away in Endwalker. I don't know how we're gonna keep our pants up though. I guess if you're a Viera, you can just bunton them up. You are also gonna want to save up 600 Poetics in the event that they add the weapon here to this vendor, the Skaven weapon. They probably will do that for Sage and Reaper, but uh, just have those 600 Poetics ready in case that they do. You could stockpile gear from different Shadowbringers dungeons or get several crafted sets ready for 71 through 80. That might be worth it if you plan on dungeon spamming with a pre-made group that can just skip all the queues because I imagine that there might be a shortage of tanks, plenty of healers and DPS, maybe not so many tanks. Have level three FC XP buffs ready. Now, if you have no idea how to activate those for your FC, I would recommend you check out this blog post. I'll put a link to it in the description box down below from the Astral Flames blog. This is an excellent guide explaining exactly how to set up the XP buffs for your FC. It can be a little complex, so I would recommend you check it out if you have no idea what you're doing. An alternative that I'm personally gonna be using is the Squadron Battle Manuals. You get these from your Adventure Squadron assuming you have unlocked that feature from your guy and company, you send your squadron out on missions and they can bring some of these back. I already have stocked up quite a few of these and it's a 15% XP buff that is just as good as the rank three FC XP buff. Make sure you have your Endwalker pre-order earring ready for the XP buff from that. If you don't have that, you can use the Bajra earring instead and make sure that you are fully rested and you have food ready to go so you never lose that food XP buff. I will probably not do a lot of dungeon spam personally but instead blast up to level 80 in the Bajan Southern Front. Now XP buffs, like I mentioned before, do not work in Baja, but that's okay because it already gives pretty bonkers XP. Like it's gonna be extremely efficient leveling method. And uh, if you don't know about Baja at all, this is an in-game zone that will sink your item level and gear stats up to level 80 stats. And it's a super duper efficient leveling method. Like there's gonna be so many people in here whenever the expansion launches. You do need to be level 71 to enter and you need Shadowbringers story completion. There's a lot of other stuff that you need to do to unlock it. If you haven't done it already, I would get to it quick uh, because there's quite a bit you need to do. Um, I'm gonna put it all on here on screen and if you wanna see what the requirements are, you can just pause to read through them all and make sure you got everything done. Wondrous Tales. So this is a really hot tip. This is a hot, hot tip, okay? So pay attention. This thing gives a lot of XP and uh, basically all you have to do is go to the solo girl and be her hired assassin. <laughs> so like, get the book from her after you've unlocked it. You need to unlock this feature. Keeping up with Yalopo's, Aliopo's is the quest, not Alshire. Uh, and she will show you who to kill with these pictures on the side of the book. You can easily solo unsync a lot of these like Howling Eye Extreme. I can just solo unsync that on my main level 80 job. You can then use the retry button to redo something that you've already done so you can get another sticker for it. Here you can see I did one level 80 dungeon. I got one sticker for it, but if I want to do level 80 dungeon again to get another sticker, I just click retry and then I can do so. The goal here is to get nine stickers. And once you have nine stickers, you can turn the book in for a buttload of XP. You can get a new Wondrous Tales book every week. And once you have a book, you can keep it for two weeks. So what this means is, assuming you have early access for Endwalker from the pre-order, you can go get the book right now, the book that came out this week, get all nine stickers, but don't turn it in yet. Wait and return it in, at, return it in, <laughs> turn it in as a sage or reaper on December 3rd. Okay, early access. You'll then be able to get another book for that week and finish that one too before the next weekly reset 
which means a ton of XP very, very fast. If you don't have early access, well, you could just prepare the Wondrous Tales book that's gonna come out next week to turn in after the official launch. But uh, basically this is what I am going to be doing. Next, prepare your challenge log. Now this one might be a little difficult if you play a lot because some of the entries you might just accidentally finish from normal play. But assuming you have the early access, once your challenge log resets next week, so this is a thing that resets every single week with the weekly reset. So once it resets for the week of November 30th, you wanna get some of these to almost done, but not quite, okay? so feeling lucky. You'll want this one at two out of three. Dungeon Master, you'll want at four out of five. For the Fates one, you'll want this at nine out of ten. And um, you could do the Get the Guild Hess ones ready. The Player Commendation one, get that to four out of five. Just keep a close eye on it because then uh, once early access comes around, you'll then be able to log in on Reaper and Sage and do like one duty roulette dungeon, get a ton of XP, do one uh, well, that will count towards your dungeon master. Do one player accommodation and you get a lot of XP and do one fate. So you will just like rack up a whole lot of XP really quickly because you prepared it beforehand. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna be doing this. Pixie Beast Tribe quest. So go unlock these now if you haven't done so already because they give insanely good XP and each quest takes like a minute to do. So it'll make you level up quick. You will also wanna go and pick up side quest. Now this is probably optional because we don't know how much side quest XP is going to be buffed. I did hear that it would be buffed and since I have absolutely nothing better to do, I will be filling up my journal with as many Shadowbringers side quests that I skipped as possible. I will finish them but I will not turn them in until after Inwalker early access and then I'll hop on Reaper, turn them all in, in order to Reaper reward. <laughs> So moving right along to general Endwalker preparation. So this is less about power leveling Reaper and Sage and more about just smart things to do to prepare uh, for the expansion. So first of all, think about spoiler protection methods for yourself, both in the game and outside the game. Be wary of shout or yell chats, maybe switch your chat to the battle tab. I always do that whenever there's new story content just to completely protect myself. And I set myself to busy so I cannot be whispered by random trolls. Titles in the past have sometimes been a little spoilery, so maybe turn off titles for now. Um, I would also stay off social media as much as possible. I know easier said than done, <laughs> but um, there might be spoilery titles or thumbnails on YouTube videos. Like if there's a big character death, everybody's gonna be talking about it. And I feel like that's gonna be very difficult to avoid. So just stay away from social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, unless it's my channel, of course. Like, <laughs> I can, you should only watch my channel. Mine is the only safe channel. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. But I will give spoiler warnings um, anytime that I'm going to be talking about spoilery stuff, which I probably will uh, after the expansion comes out because there's going to be a lot to discuss. If you want to turn into a bunny boy for Endwalker, you want to use your Fantasia before the servers go down so that way you can immediately log in and change your race and or gender. But if you haven't decided yet how your bunny boy should look, consider downloading the benchmark where you can um, go into the character screen, character creation screen for male Viera, and you can save that appearance data and use it on launch. You should clean up your inventory. You can <laughs> refer to my bag cleanup guide if you need some help for that, but uh, basically, like, if, you, if it can go in the armory chest, it goes in the armory chest. Make sure you're using your Chocobo saddle bag. Go through your glamour dresser, organize your retainers, clean out everything. Um, so, <laughs> I know how hard it is. Like my glamour dresser is at max capacity right now. I have no idea. I don't know what to do. Get your retainers leveled up if you can. Um, definitely don't buy new retainers just for extra glamour space. I won't be doing that. Finish leveling things up or at least boost yourself barely into the next level because there is gonna be that mid-level XP reset. I'll put a link to the lodestone post that explains all of that in the description box. But basically, if you are through a level, like if you're halfway through a level, uh, the expansion will reset you to the start of that level. All the XP is gonna be reset to the start of levels. So make sure that you are at the start of levels so you don't lose a ton of XP when the expansion comes out. The Moogle Tombstone event will end with Endwalker's official launch. So make sure that you get everything you need from this event before 
for maintenance for 6.0. If story is a big priority for you, I would recommend that you do the coils raids story, at least on synced, so you can see all those cutscenes because it's bound to be relevant in 6.0. Also recommend doing the Omega raids story. You can do that in New Game Plus. I'm currently doing that and I can already see that there's a lot of stuff that will definitely be relevant. As for the economy, like gill making tips, because of the huge numbers of people that are gonna be doing the Bajan Southern Front, all the loot from there will become much cheaper. All the prices will drop because of the huge supply that's gonna be suddenly injected into the market. So if you, there are rare mounts that you have from the boxes or rare hairstyles or other rare loot, sell it now. I would recommend you, either you sell it now or you expect to hold on to it for a long, long time. If you want rare stuff from the boxes, like the mounts and things like that, um, wait to buy until after the expansion is out because those prices are going to plummet. Okay, so <laughs> stonks. Also, Unreal Trials are gonna be going away until patch 6.1, so all of the rare loot from Unreal Trials that you buy with faux leaves will go up in price because there will no longer be a way to get faux leaves until patch 6.1, so keep that in mind for buying and selling of that Unreal Trial loot. Do get a set of fresh, crisp, level 80 gear ready for the job that you want to do the Inwalker main story on. You can just drop some tombstones on it here in Yulemore. And actually, while we're on the subject of tombstones, keep in mind that uh, some of the scripts and tombstones will be changed. I'll put a link to the lodestone post that goes over all that. Pretty much the same stuff that happens every single expansion cycle to cycle out the old tomes and bring in the new tomes. So if you still have Phantasmagoria tomes sitting in your currency tab, you want to get rid of those. So that just about wraps things up for all of the main things that I would definitely do before the expansion stuff that I'm going to be doing like as soon as this video is done I'm gonna start like getting all my side quests ready and getting my wondrous tales ready is there anything else that you think is really important in the preparation for N Walker that I didn't mention here if so please let me know in the comment section down below so other people can see it and it might be helpful to us all thank you so so much for watching I hope you liked this video and if you did please consider supporting the channel on patreon or on twitch you can also support the channel for free just by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.